Hello everyone, I'm glad you joined because today I will show you how to dye Easter eggs all natural and they will look beautiful. Growing up, my grandma would always dye them in onion skins. So we would collect lots of onion skins and I already made a video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. They turn out amazing and they are orange, orange color and they are just beautiful. Uh, but last years I discovered a red cabbage and it makes beautiful bluish color. So I decided to do a video also to show you how you can improve and make more than one color. Uh, so today we will be doing these incredible looking eggs, still the same technique, it will be all natural. Uh, this will take more time than the onion skins, uh, but it's definitely worthy and I hope that you involve kids because they will never love it. I always loved it when grandma taught us and my mom uh, taught us how to do it and we would always join and we had so much fun. So all you need is red cabbage. This is pretty big one. I don't think we will need all of it as much as the pot will fit in. Now it all depends how many eggs you want to color. Uh, so do as many as you wish. Here I have white eggs. Definitely use white eggs. And then this is the beautiful technique. You go outside and you try to collect leaves, flowers, weeds, anything that will look nice. So I have here tiny leaves, uh, some flowers. I've never tried these. So I will experiment and see how they will turn out. Uh, and if you don't, uh, if you cannot use it right away, uh, I recommend, I have here a wet paper towel. So that's why they stay still fresh. And you can put it also in a Ziploc and store it in a fridge. This way they will not wilt and they will stay nice looking for when you will be coloring your eggs. Then I have here brand new tights. Uh, these are black, but you can use uh, whichever color you want. Uh, you can also tie it using the pantyhose, but I will be using uh, twist ties that I collected, so why not? Then you will need some scissors and vinegar. So let's start create these eggies. We will be working with the raw eggs, so just be careful so you don't break them. Uh, here I have the end of the tights, so I will cut this off using my amazing left-handed scissors, which I'm very thankful for. And now let's cut this pantyhose in pieces. And now you cut it in this way. They're kind of thick, but that will work. And now let's pick this one. These are pretty small, but that's okay, they will work. So you put it not the other way, but the side up like this. And it's easier to do just one side. Two sides is a little difficult and complicated. And now we need to wrap this egg and use our twist tie. So just carefully stretch it. I cut probably two tiny pieces, but it'll work. And now I'll use a twist tie and I will just twist tie it like that. It's perfect. And now we will carefully set it aside. I think I'll put it back into this cover. Now let's do the other one and I will show you the little flowers. So I ripped it as close as to the petal as possible. This way you don't have to deal with the long stamps. And let's get a little a larger egg, but they're all kind of tiny. To so set it up like this and I'll put the egg on it. and stretch the pantyhose so we can tie it. I recommend using a lighter color of pantyhose because it's hard to see the design and it would be fun to see if I did it correctly. I, I see that it 
it did so I'm really curious how this one will turn out uh, you can also use a cheesecloth and use a string which would be the old-fashioned way but since we have pantyhose that's pretty cheap I really like to use it so it's up to you whatever you prefer or you have at home I made uh, 13 eggs and it looks funny here uh, so now we will need to prepare our pot with cabbage uh, because I have uh, lots of eggs and large uh, red cabbage I picked the largest pot uh, so it all can fit in and I usually remove this it's kind of ugly so just the first layer because we will have plenty of leaves and now you will start to put it in and break it break it into pieces it's easier and then we will have to crush it so we can fit as much as we can into the pot so I have a little bit left uh, because I didn't want to put the whole thing in because they like to flow to the top so I don't want to have it all the way full and now you want to crush it a little bit just to try to reduce a little bit this is good it's amazing to me that such a color creates actually blue <laughs> blue eggs and now we can put our eggs in and remember these are raw so you want to be careful and they fit nicely and now let's put the uh, water so the eggs are submerged as you see the pot is really full because the cabbage is rising to the top uh, but all we care is about is that the eggs are submerged which they are and you don't want to put um, too hot water yeah maybe lukewarm or cold but not hot now let's turn on the stove uh, put the lid, lid on this way it can uh, bring to the bowl faster also make sure that uh, the eggs are under the water which as you see they are not because the cabbage just floated to the top so just make space carefully and you can put the eggs beneath the cabbage just so they are under the water since I'm using a really large pot it took a long time to bring it to boil but now it's boiling uh, so you want to lower the flame and have it boiling for 10 minutes you can also see the color is getting really rich which is amazing let's turn off the stove and you can keep the lid off uh, because we don't need to keep it hot we need to let these eggs cool off so as you see I'm using really large pot uh, but that's okay and now uh, you will want to put some vinegar in and since I am having a big pot I'll put plenty to improve on color and now I notice that it got kind of got lighter so I will stir it to mix the vinegar in and you see it's really hot uh, so you will need to cool it off and now um, if you want <laughs> I hope you can see me through this smoke uh, I'll go here uh, if you want you can strain the liquid and put the eggs into a smaller bowl when it's all cooled off and keep it in a fridge uh, but I don't have a space, I mean, I don't have a problem with the space in the fridge, so I will just um, keep it in this pot and you will want to have it there at least five hours, but I recommend longer, overnight. Uh, that's what I will do. Uh, last year I was able to be in Czech Republic during Easter, uh, so me and my mom, we did it with onion and cabbage and my mom's favorite color is, color is blue so she was so excited and we went to the park to gather up some grass and leaves and it was super fun so I will see you tomorrow after this has a time to rest and we will see how they turned out together so see you then it's been about 16 hours that the eggs were sitting in the fridge so I cannot wait for this fun uh, to see how they turned out uh, so I will bring it closer so you can see with me so let's open our pot 
I'm really curious how they turned out. So let's get them out. I have no idea which designs I'm pulling, so we'll see. So let's unwrap this. Now you have to deal with them carefully uh, because the color can scrape off if it's uh, touched, so it has to be completely dry. Wow, look at that! So these these are the petals. Oh, look how amazing! So if you have a flower that has more defining petals then it will be really beautiful but I'm so happy the way it turned out and here is the tie how we tied it so put it on a paper towel or something and dry it up before we can make them shiny because that will be our next step so let's see this one this is so exciting Always my favorite part. Oh, it's a petals too. Aww. Oh, I have put three here. So it has more design. Wow, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh man, I just love these. And look how dark blue it is. It's really pretty. So let me get another one. This is like a Christmas opening presents. And I'm using these tongs. Uh, they're really good for grabbing the eggs. I'm gonna get the water out a little bit. And now let's unwrap another one. And you can reuse these twist ties. I'll be saving them for next year because they are really handy. Oh, look at that. Wow. This is amazing. Look at this detail on it. It's so beautiful. This leaf didn't have much detail, but I just love these. I want to also show you this beautiful color. See, it looks more purple. But the eggs are just turning blue. Here they are and they turned out amazing. I just love the color. Look at this. That's why I'm saying the best is just pick one that has like lots of little little leaves or whatever. And now we are letting it dr to dry uh, and then we will put a little bit of oil because as soon as they dry up they are kind of dull, they are not shiny. The wet ones are still shiny and that's what the oil will do. It will make them shiny. It also helps to count them before you put them in because this way when you pull them out uh, you know that you are done because it's hard to find it in the midst of the cabbage. So that's what I did and it helped. Also you can dry them with a paper towel just very carefully if you don't want to wait for them to dry but it doesn't take long. They're almost dry so it's pretty fast. And our last step is to make them shiny. So here I have a oil. Just put a little bit on your palm, rub it like that, and now you grab an egg, you shine it like this, see how pretty it is, beautiful, and just set it aside, and you can keep, you don't have to make it uh, oily again until you run out of oil and it's dry. But right now it's really oily and I think it will last for all of them. You know, back in the day, grandmas would use a lard and that's how they would shine the eggs. So if you have some, go ahead and use it. You can use whatever oil. Coconut oil probably will work too. Anything that you don't mind to putting on the eggs. Uh, so I'm done now and I'm so happy the way that they turned out. It's just amazing. And makes me happy just to see this. It's like an art. It's beautiful. And I will be, uh, it will be hard for me to eat it and just crack it. I will be like, oh no. <laughs> so if you do make it, 
I would love to see your creations because I'm sure that will be beautiful. So please post it on my Facebook page. I would love to see and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will have a great Easter. Happy Easter guys. Bye.